All right, today the task at hand is oil change. I'm behind on the oil change. We're gonna do it today and I'm gonna try to use my pneumatic pump and drain the oil through the dipstick so I don't have to get under the machine. So let's see how this works. I'll access the dipstick through this panel and then when I flip the seat up, that's where I'll access the fill port. I'm going to be using Golf Super Diesel Plus 15W40. This is the Mighty Vac and it, it came with a variety of hoses, but <laughs> I misplaced the hoses. They're somewhere in my household goods. <clears throat> so I tried to find hoses on Lazada that would fit. And it's a seven millimeter hole for the connector, but seven millimeter won't go down into the Kubota. But I did get the, the six millimeter in there, but I don't think I'm gonna be, be able to create a vacuum like that. So I might have to cut a piece of this seven millimeter tube to make a uh, kind of a bushing so we so we can maintain a vacuum I used this particular tool on my on my Mustang uh, a while back and it had a an, I think it was a nine quart pan in my 70 Mustang and it worked great. I, I was able to, to suck all the oil out into here. So I'll try it here, see what we get. I'm not <coughs> drawing a vacuum here because it's too loose. I'm gonna have to come up with some kind of bushing. Here we go, here we go. I think, uh, I, think I had the tube in a little bit too, too much and it, it wasn't able to grab any oil, but it's coming. Let our pressure keep building. There we go, here we go. Coming down. And we should be looking for like three liters. starting to fill. It's, it's not as fast because I'm sure I've got a not as much vacuum as I should because I don't have the correct diameter. But it is working. Alright, that was interesting. It worked, but the PTFE that I bought, the walls are too thin. The, the original hoses that came with this Mighty Vac are really rigid and the walls are thicker so it doesn't kink and it doesn't uh, collapse under a vacuum and that's what happened a couple times um, with the hose that I had it was either collapsing or kinking. The specs are 3.2 liters for this machine and I got oh, I got over three liters in the canister and then you have your filter and residual oil so so now I'm just adding my new Gulf oil here and that'll be that so hopefully before the next oil change I'll have found my hoses for my mighty vac so that's all for this video <laughs> talk to y'all later <laughs>